Good, good morning, guys. Good morning, <laughs> and we're here once again in Cebu City. And kumusta yung life, guys? And it's already March 14, so dali aras pa na And ona, it's been sunny lately, pero at least karon compared last Sunday na ni crowds. <laughs> So, unsa may mga bago ron? Uh, Mimi, what are the new stuff I've been doing lately? Oh, so today let's talk about kwan ngatong um, recently ni Ari ang mga cast na ng new movie called Martyr or Murder. This is the second movie sa kanang sa kan trilogy sa Made in Malacanang ang first, and then kana Martyr or Murder second. So it talks about, I think Naikwan talks about life after uh, the People Power Revolution. Sa mga Marcoses, like Aimee ended up in Morocco, and I think ang past sa Martin or Murder, so ang past ni Ninoy Aquino. Um, so namin din eh, past ni Ninoy and Imelda. Interesting. <laughs> So, wala it, di ba? Wala. Kuyo kay Kwan ba? History. It's like a history list lesson. So, in a way, the point of view on it is Marcos. Uh, so, mawag na. Dapat na na disclaimer that this is the point of view sa mga Marcoses. And, um, yeah, and this is a film. So, kinala na drama, na drama, na yung na. Um, and, of course, uh, there will be facts. There will be some opinion as well. I mean, we won't say it's fiction because that's, you know, that's how they feel. I mean, that's how you know, the story. Namely, source, ana, di ba? So, the Marcus family, the Aimee. So, that's her story. Manang masabtan dapat sabtun lang siya, di ba? That's a story. I mean, we all have, mingan taang truth, kung should be one, but for her, di ba? That's the, that's the truth, di ba? Iya na. You know, for her, that's those are the events, and of course, they also have to have, you know, factual basis. Man, sadana, they can just outright lie. I think, nagiri documentation also. So, wala. Um, that's a story. Na, mutan abak anak na sini. Are you curious about that movie? Oh, di ba? So it's a one. It's a. Um, you know, for Filipinos. Who are who were who are one who are alive at that time? They know these um, you know, these personalities, and I think that's also a reminder, na lang, a reminder for the youth of uh, something. It's timely, actually. It's a way of for them to make people somehow remember that era, and that era happened. Martial law happened. Um, People power happen, can deny it, uh, and of course it's politics. There were, um, you know, politics isn't as clean as <laughs> you think. I mean, there's some stories behind uh, some some stories that we don't know. Most of us here know only the surface, and only know what's in the news, but the real story behind. I mean, we always. It's not always gonna be complete, right? Uh, so, I mean, the real motivations of people, we can't, we can't read that. Sometimes we just conclude, but it's not, yes. But also, this is a history lesson also, that the victors can write the stories. Now the Marcos has won, of course, they can. They can. Oh, ako said they can not only can they should just because that's how it goes. If you win, you have you can create your story. If you lose, sorry, you might so your story will still be be told, but you know it will be downplayed, diba? So the victors will always have uh, the right to tell the story. Or have the privilege. So, manang, if you wanna 
tell a story, <laughs> you have to be a victor. So, mana, anyway, mana, Mara Bongbong is now the president, Bongbong Marcos, the son of the late president, Ferdinand Marcos. So, mana, we're here right now at Iscario Street. Um, traffic is, of course, uh, moderate to heavy. I mean, because simply because it's still the morning rush hour, people are still on their way to work to school, but still 7:40 in the morning, and you know people are up and about already and moving, moving to work. Maybe some going home because we are in a way a 24-hour city. So, mana mana ikwane? Um, it's we have a movie we have a new movie i mean uh, there's a new movie that one the murder murder so my question is do you still watch movies <laughs> yeah while they're promoting the movie i mean we have people the actors the actresses talking about the movie or some even the critics you know it's either they praise and criticize the movies but do people still watch movies this one's heavily promoted, so probably there are people who watch this movie or who will watch this movie. But there are, there are people also, I know a lot of people who are content to stay at their houses, content with their streaming. They're just going to watch on their phones via streaming. like, Or some will just wait for it to be in Netflix or in other streaming sites. So, money ko ano na ba? Interesting... Na, na, na development in the recent times that uh, even um, entertainment is somehow you know, movie industry but I, they're still fighting it but <laughs> they know that it's evolving um, there was a time di ba, na we really had so many cinemas especially downtown di ba? Sydney, grabe ka ng Sydney um box office hits way way back like in the 80s and the 70s we're, we're in a way for me we're bigger because one we have we have a lot more movies to choose from then because people we have more cinemas um, right now most of us just watch it in SM na lang, in Ayala in the malls but before there were really standalone cinemas um, that you know that becomes the best date place for people, a hangout for for those people who you know every Saturday who want to watch classmates with your classmates, you know, with your loved ones, with your kabit, <laughs> with your <laughs> what else, with your uh, alone even some even you know there were stories that there are some people praying on mo people watching movies, someone suddenly they'll just sit beside you I don't know, our biggest drug is 249 a month that's netflix so um, there's a billboard out there so that's one of those disruptors and i don't know if the cinema industry or the movie industry i mean there will be movies but i mean the owner cinema owners are are they gonna last i mean how long will it take before you know, cinemas will like uh, will be just become antiquity. May mo lang antique ba na maragun? Tana mo kasi nido sa like there were times that we all love to own a typewriter. The moment, but suddenly becomes wala na PCs na then laptop. But yeah, may mo lang antique ba? Like our DVD players, our VHS players. Oh, imagine before we collect. Some people collect DVDs, VHS, Betamax, but now just download it. <laughs> it's just gonna be in one micro SD or one <laughs> one USB drive, and there'll be <coughs> hundreds of movies there. <laughs> Imagine, no? how t times have changed, uh, and you know if you love. To help those cinema industry, the cinema industry probably you have to watch movies more. <laughs> Although sometimes he would say yes, the offerings right now in the cinemas are not as good. Um, 
compared to in streaming sites, di ba? Na, I mean, not as good because you can only watch it once. At least in streaming sites, you can pause it, you can watch it again. You can even share it with your friends. Uh, di ba? Even in one device, you share with three people, four people, buy an adapter. You can even have your own movies at home. Yes, you can have mga smart TVs and you have a Netflix. So it's a family affair already. And even, even the TV shows are somehow affected because the main medium, which is the TV, is now used to watch movies. Not only in cable channels, but oh, so una diba threat ng cable channels, the local channels, but now it's also used to watch streaming. Oh, so, or even YouTube, mauna. So, the kind of competition. And some even kids, some kids didn't watch movies, they just watch TikTok. Sometimes the format is not, uh, you know, people, some, uh, a lot of people enjoy. If you kita. I mean, even us, you can sometimes you admit that you just sometimes get stuck watching YouTube Shorts. I mean, Facebook, oh yeah, YouTube Shorts, uh, the short videos in YouTube, uh, in Facebook, and the Reels on Instagram. And the young ones, are, I mean, some brands are now into TikTok. They keep on looking for talents in TikTok, watching. Uh, sometimes I'm even forced to... Oh, to upload stuff on TikTok. Oh, by the way, yes. Follow me on TikTok if you have TikTok. At Kalami Isibu and at Lonely Droner. Oh, so, nahimong mo duha kong account because I don't know, there was a time I've been droning and droning. I bought a drone and so uh, really planning to fly it often but now nah, I don't fly it that often anymore. It would have been great during the pandemic time because you know, there's not much people you can like the you know, fly, fly, fly in places. It's peaceful. Now, you know, the crowds are back, and sometimes, you know, you don't have the elbow room anymore to fly. So, pero that's why if you have been TikTok, but but by the way, a lot of governments don't like that app. They they say the TikTok is like a spy spy app it's like a spyware it's a china china china's way of spying on people um, i hope it's not true but yeah i, I don't know probably i mean yeah they, they might it's not just tiktok probably even america is spying on you using uh, let's say instagram or <laughs> use Facebook, we don't know because how how would they doubt? Why are they doubting them? And probably there's also a probable cause or probable reason because probably they're doing it as well, So we don't know, right? There's still a hidden or it's like deep that cold door, but there's some. See, that's the surface. The surface we just see TikTok videos, but underneath that there's still the spy war <laughs> there's still a military application on those things pretty interesting so but but yes the, in the end we we'll go back to videos and yeah right now you're watching one uh, instead of watching TV watching a movie you're now here in YouTube stuck with me and I'm showing you Cebu yeah this is what Cebu looks like on March 14 20 23 and a shout out to Lot Lot Lawas. Happy birthday, Rose Lawas. Yes. And all friends na nag birthday in March. So happy birthday to all of you. So may, may you be blessed with more years and may this year be an awesome year for all of you guys. So nagmahal ng tanan. I hope maka, I hope makatan aw yapun mo. So yeah, I'm glad you're here watching me instead of watching streaming sites or watching a movie or watching a TV, your TV. <laughs> so see, imagine right now there's so many options for people. Um, you could, you know, if you're still bored right now, I don't know. I don't know, maybe 
na sobrahan na tigag mga videos that uh, you know you get bored but if you're still bored right now probably I can say go out run and see the real scenery like this one although I'm taking a video yeah go out see life I mean life is entertaining life is beautiful I mean diba oh, if you're stuck lang pirmiya diba I'm not saying stop watching my video but yes I want you to also you know, enjoy your life this is just you know a slice of my life um, 15 minute slice of our life driving around Cebu showing you what people are doing in this year I don't know 10 years from now if this is still how it looks like uh, would we see flying cars by then <laughs> flying motorcycles less people or whatever are we just gonna be run are we gonna be a green society by then like all of us are just walking or biking right we don't know but yeah this is a big hello from 2023 and whatever year you are in right now if you're watching this on <laughs> uh, in 2033 or even 3023 yeah this is how our lives or our streets our cities looks like I uh, look like looked like then pretty <laughs> I don't know pretty old <laughs> and you know this is our snapshot I don't know what would happen with, uh, with YouTube someday in the future but yeah Will this boom video be seen like a hundred years from now? We don't know. But I'm hoping, yeah, if that there's a use of this video for people in the future, right? So I'm gonna, anyway, we had a 17 minute um, travel or drive already. So I'm gonna be going. So we're now here at F. Kabahog Street. And we just, in a way, survived the Cebu City morning rush hour. Uh, so not, not too long. The trip was just fine. Um, oh, and, so, and yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye bye.